How you doing? I'm Adam. Okay. 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 Hanging out with the wrong crowd led me to drinking alcohol and smoking marijuana by the age of 15. Two years later, I was bound by alcoholism, crack cocaine, and sexual immorality. By 28, I was a full-blown heroin addict with a six-year-old son. My sin was destroying my life and the lives of those around me. All I cared about was getting high. Everything good in my life was gone, and it didn't matter to me if I lived or died. Because I had burned every bridge, I ended up homeless and living in the street. I didn't know where to turn. I ran into Steve Forsyth last summer, summer, a member of this church and an old friend of mine. I was amazed at the change in Steve. He was different from the man that I used to get high with just a few years before. He told me about building on the rock and the men and nails ministry that God had been using to change his life through his personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Steve told me that the very same hope he had was also available to me, but I still wasn't ready. After a few more months of drug abuse, sleeping outside, trips to the county jail, and misery, I was finally broken. I remembered my encounter with Steve and decided to give him a call. I needed help. The men and nails met with me and told me that I needed Jesus. In January, I repented of my sin, accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior, and entered into the men's house to become a disciplined follower of Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, If anyone be in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone. Behold, all things have become new. I'm no longer a slave to drugs, alcohol, and the power of sin. I'm a Christian. I've been set free to live life, to live a life that honors God and blesses others. I read my Bible every day. I'm learning more and more about Jesus, the love he has for me, and how great the gift of salvation is. I'm following you, my brothers and sisters, as you follow Christ. The Lord has given me hope for my future and for my son's future. For that, I praise him. Amen. How you doing, Adam? Okay. Do you believe in Jesus Christ's life, death, and resurrection? I do. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you understand that in baptism you're identifying yourself with Christ's life, death, and resurrection, now becoming part of his bride, the church? Yes. Do you commit to follow him all the days of your life, not only as your Savior, but as his Lord, as your Lord? Yes. Okay. Then in the name of Jesus Christ, on behalf of this church, we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father God, I come before you, Lord, and I lift Adam up to you, Lord. As he has made a public confession today, Lord, of you as his Lord and Savior. Lord, I just ask for a blessing over his body, over top of him, Lord, and to be with him for the rest of his life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.